Good morning. And God bless you. This is Brother Paul Godfrey greeting you this Sunday morning. I pray that you were able to wake up this morning with hope and faith in the Word of God. If our faith is not upon the Word of God, then it's grounded upon nothing. For heaven and earth shall pass away, but the Word of God shall not pass away. God made a promise, I shall never depart from you, will always be with you, even until the end. And he keeps his promise. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the living God. This morning, I'm going to share a quick word of God with you and share a quick prayer with you. As I know, you probably have been going to church this morning or you're on your way to church or you came back from church and Whenever you listen to this tape, it is a Sunday morning greetings to you. My message this morning to you is the rising of the sun. This message was given unto us also by the prophet of the hour, William Braham. He preached that message, the rising of the sun, 1965, April 18 in the morning time I don't know if you've heard of William Braham before but just to set a quick foundation if you never heard of him it's not about William Braham it's more of who sent William Braham God made a promise that he will send Elijah in the last church age why is that in the last church age he said in Malachi chapter 4 verse 5 he said I will send Elijah the prophet before the great and dreadful day of the Lord now dreadful day of the Lord is the day of judgment the day of the Lord is the day of judgment it's also written in the book of Revelation on the day of the Lord nothing can stand on the judgment day the mountain will run death will also be no more nothing can stand man will have no place to hide on the day of the lord but today is the day of grace and mercy today the ark is opened for everyone so willing to come and enter whosoever will let this message come to you as a way to encourage your faith. I speak to encourage your faith. Blessed be the name of the living God. In that message that William Braham preached, again, he was sent for the egos. He was sent to preach the word of God. He was given signs and wonder to vindicate the message. The angel of the Lord came to him. The voice of God spoke to him. Many instances. A voice declared as Moses was sent for the first running of God, Jesus when he came, so sent I you for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is also God. For we know that Jesus Christ is God. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He came in the position of of a sonship we know as the position of a father the creator he created the heaven and the earth we know as the position of a son he came as a redeemer we know as the position of the holy ghost he came to indwell in man which is the son of god when he declared as the son of man that was the office of a prophet when he declared as the Son of God, that was the office of the Holy Ghost. When he will declare as the Son of David, that's the king to reign in millennium. Glory, hallelujah, 
Blessed be the name of the living God. We have so much to say, but time will not permit us. I'm not going to speak for a long time this morning. So I'm just going to share with you that message. It is the rising of the sun. S-U-N. That is how the Bible put it. But we can also say it is the rising of the sun. S-O-N. Amen. Hope you catch that revelation. Has the S-O-N risen in your life? We can see the sun out this morning. I speak from New Jersey now. When is 8.48 a.m. at this time? And I can see the sun. It's a bright morning day. The sun has risen. But so is the S-O-N risen. The S-U-N has risen and everyone can see it. But the S-O-N has also risen. Can you see him? Is he present in your life? Hallelujah. Let us share a quick word of prayer before I go into this small message this morning. My Lord, my God, the fountain of life, you are the S-O-N that came as the Son of Man. As Moses declared, he said, The Lord thy God will rise a prophet like unto me. And thou was the Son of Man. As Moses declared, and Jesus confirmed, he said, I am the one. When Moses rose that brazen serpent in the wilderness, I am the one. As Moses raised that serpent, so shall the Son of Man be risen up in the crucified. And on the top day, he will rise from the grave. He will rise just like Jonah was at the belly of the fish. Jonah was at the belly of the well for three days. So shall the Son of Man be at the belly of the earth for three days. All the scripture talks about you. All the life of every prophet in the scripture talks about you. Everything in the Bible talks about Jesus Christ. Because he is the Alpha, he is the Omega, he is the beginning, he is the end. Without him there is no life. He is the lily of the valley. He is the bright burning star. He is our joy, he is our peace. Hallelujah. Let him come to your life this morning. I speak life into your life this morning. I speak joy into your life this morning. I speak liberation into your life this morning. I speak joy, unstoppable joy, unquenchable joy, immeasurable. Oh, I speak the Holy Ghost into your life this morning. Receive him this morning. Let him come this morning as we meditate upon his word for a few minutes. Let it be a blessing unto your life this morning. Jesus Christ, we invite you. We invite you to take your center place. We invite you to take your place. We invite you to take your position. We invite you to send down the angels of heaven to come this morning to whomsoever we hear this voice. Let it be a blessing unto you. He's invited. Receive him this morning. I pray with thanksgiving in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, let's read quick word of God. Revelation chapter 1 verse 17 and 18. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first, I am the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of death and hell. Amen. Are you happy to hear that? He has the key. Of death and hell. You see, devil also has his own trinity. The trinity of devil is death, is hell, is grave. This threatens is owned by devil. Death, grave, and hell. Amen. But thank God this morning we have the evidence. Is declared in the scripture, glory, that the keys of death, the keys of grave, the keys of hell was taken by the mighty Jesus Christ. He is the mighty conqueror. Hallelujah. Believest thou this? He will give you joy to believe this. He will give you liberty to believe this. Put this in your heart. Let it anchor in your heart. Let this faith of resurrection this morning anchor in your heart. He has risen. He has the keys of the dead, the keys of grave, the keys of hell. Therefore, hell, grave is conquered. 
Death has no more power over us. He said, we shall never die. Death that believe in me shall never die, say the Lord. Do you believe that this morning? Blessed be the name of the living God. Let's go to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body by his spirit that dwelt in you. Amen? Look how the scripture is so fitting. The same spirit, not another spirit, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, if he dwells in me and you, he will do exactly the same thing. That means we will rise. That means your life will change. That means the things you used to do, you will do them no more that are contrary to the word of God. That means the place you used to go, that you know you shouldn't go. As a child of God, you go there no more. That means the things you drink and eat, and you know it is contrary to the word of God, you eat and drink them no more. That means the actions you take that is contrary to the word of God, the iniquity. Iniquity is knowing something that is right and not doing it. But remember that sin is unbelief. You don't drink because you are a sinner. You drink because you don't believe. The actions that people take will make you to know whether they believe or not. Drinking is not the sin. Unbelief is sin. You drink because you don't believe. You steal because you don't believe. You commit adultery because you don't believe. Because if you believe, then the same spirit that caused Jesus to rise from the dead, that same spirit will quicken your mortal body. It will change your night in today. It will change every situation. It will bring every mountain low. It will lift off every valley in your life. It will stop every action that is contrary to the word of God. Do you believe that this morning? Hallelujah. Believe it. Blessed be the name of the living God. And now, in the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 1 and 2. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, mother, and Mary the mother of James and Siloam, had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. They are coming to anoint the Lord. But they don't know he's no longer there. <laughs> He's not there anymore. Hallelujah. He's not there. He has risen. He has risen. Early in the morning, the first day of the week, they come unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun, S-U-N. This morning is the rising of the S-U-N and also the rising of the S-O-N. Let the S-O-N rise in your life this morning. Receive the blessings of Jesus Christ in your life this morning. Hallelujah. If you believe it, it's yours this morning. Let the S-O-N rise in your life this morning. Every blessing. Let it not be a history that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Because living, he loved us. Dying, he saved us. Burying, he carried our sin far away. Rising from the dead, he justified us freely forever. And one day, he's coming back again. Hallelujah. Are you under expectation? Are you waiting for him? Has he risen in your life? Rise up this morning with joy and gladness and glorify the mighty God. Do not let any circumstances hold you back from having this day be a joyful day in your life. Rise up this morning. And glorify Jesus Christ. He is risen. Forever. He says soon the world will see me no more. You will see me. Who is he talking to? He's talking to me and you. That believe. You that are listening to this tape. I believe that God will bless you. Take something out from this message this morning. Let it be that Jesus Christ is risen in your life this morning. Let the world know that Jesus is alive. In your life this morning. Let the world around you know that Jesus is alive in your life this morning. He's not a history. He's not a book somewhere. He's alive. 
He's a living God. He, the Bible is written in three ways. One, the Bible was the spoken word because it was ever written. Because God spoke everything into existence. Before there was ever an ink to write, God spoke. So everything came from the spoken word. From the spoken word, we have the written word. The written word is the Bible that was written by man. But God caused man by the prophets was moved, according to Hebrews, to write those things. To speak those things and write them down. So we now have the written word. But the Bible is moving now. It's moving from being written to living word. Living. L-I-V-I-N-G. Living. Let the living represent Jesus Christ. Let the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. Let that spirit resonate in your life. It will quicken my mortal body and your mortal body. When my body is quickened, I become a living word. When your body is quickened, you become a living word. You see now, hallelujah, that is what we desire to be. That is the end game of Christianity. Let the same life that was in Jesus be in you and I. Hallelujah. Receive it this morning. I bless you this morning. Receive your blessing this morning. Oh, go to the mountain top and shout that Jesus Christ is risen. Let the world around you know He's risen in your life. Oh, if you're a sinner, I said this morning, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And this sign shall follow them that believe, Jesus said. In my name they can cast out demon. If they touch any deadly things, will not harm them. He said, preach this word to every part of the earth. And all those that believe and repent will be baptized. And those that don't believe will be damned. This is the day that the Lord has made. Therefore, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let everyone know you are a Christian. Let your life represent Christianity. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the living God. He is risen this morning. Is he risen in your life? Has he picked your mortal body? Oh, the stone is rolled away because he is no longer in the grave. And let your stone be rolled away. Let every mountain before you be rolled away. Let every obstacle before you be rolled away because he is the master of every situation. Hallelujah. Oh, I am excited this morning. And I believe that you are excited too. It's a day of excitement. Let every day excite you. Let the word of God excite you. Let nothing put you down. Rise up and claim your victory. Do not let devil put you down. Because the enemy is like a roaring lion looking to whom to devour. But the enemy can do nothing. Because the scripture says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist every trial, he will flee from you. Resist every temptation. Resist every sickness. Rebuke every devil. Send that sickness back to devil. Oh, hallelujah. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you this morning. I thank you for the quick word that we share this morning. Because we went to the book of Revelation. We can see that Lord Jesus you have risen. The book of Revelation tells us, Lord Jesus, He said, I am the one that died and I live to die no more. Hallelujah. He said, I have the key. You have the key of hell. You have the key of death because you went down in that top day, Lord, and you put to the souls that were in prison and you set the captives free and you delivered the captive and you came back and said, I am alive. I am alive and I will die no more. Hallelujah. And that I believe in you, it shall never die. Grave have no power. Apostle Paul say, Oh, death, where is your power? Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, the sting of death, oh, the power of death has been taken by Jesus Christ. Let it be in your life. Let every trial be silenced in your life because he is the master of every situation. The trials of our faith will bring perfection. But when the trial comes, stand and see the services of God. Stand and declare the counsel of God. Stand and take the scripture, the arm of God in your hand. Let it be your sword, because this sword will pierce asunder. Oh, every weakness in your life, every sickness in your life, every trial in your life, let the sword, the word of God, be your anchor, be your ammo, be your power, be your strength. Hallelujah! Oh, claim it and receive it. I give you blessing this morning. Oh, from my own house, I bless you. Oh, from the house of the living God, I bless you. Oh, from the word of God, I bless you. Oh, from the ministry of Jesus Christ is the same today. I bless you. Oh, I say in the name of Jesus Christ, receive your blessing this morning. Anything that you want from him, stand and receive it. Believe it is given to you. Do not let devil take this away from you, but stand and see the salvation of God. 
Hallelujah. Let the S-O-N be risen in your life this morning. We pray and believe it is done. We declare the day is a beautiful day. We declare the day is a day of grace. We declare the day is a day of mercy. Let those who are yearning for the Lord, let them receive it this morning. Let this be your day. This today. Don't let the day pass by before you receive it. Oh, take every blessing of God, every grace of God, let his grace be sufficient for you, if you are sick this morning, if you are sick this morning I ask you in the name of Jesus to believe that you are healed this morning oh I ask you to call and testify that while this prayer was being said your sickness was gone, oh whatever you need this morning, what is troubling you this morning, is it finances that you need, do you need a job this morning, oh what do you need, oh Bring it to God. He said, Come ye, all ye that labor and have heavy laden. His yoke is easy. He will take our yoke upon himself. What do you need from God this morning? Oh, believe that it is done. Every mountain be bring low. Every valley be bring up. Oh, Jesus is here. His spirit is here. I bless you this morning. Anything you need, take it from God this morning. Believe it is done. Only believe that all things are possible. What do you need from him this morning? What do you need from him this morning? Rise up your hand this morning. Raise your hand this morning. Defeat gravity. Raise your hand and surrender to Jesus this morning. Surrender to Jesus this morning. And receive the blessings of God. Receive the anointing of God. Receive the word of God. Let it be your anchor this morning. Oh, go this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive what you're looking for. Receive your blessing. Receive the anointing. Let your life be changed to conform to the image of Jesus Christ because he's coming back soon. He said, when I come back, shall I find faith? Shall I find faith? Declare your faith this morning. Stand and see the salvation of God. I bless you this morning in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And blessed be the name of the living God. Have a wonderful blessed day. God richly bless you.